Halion 7 features a brand new FM zone that was developed in cooperation with Yamaha, the company that's responsible for creating some of the most iconic FM synthesizers. The new FM zone brings FM synthesis in Halion and it does it in an extremely powerful way. Let me show you. So this is the brand new FM zone and let me give you a quick overview of the interface and how you can start designing sounds. First, I'm going to play a sound that I created. This is entirely FM. As you can see, we have five pages here, and the first page is the level page. Here is where we can find our amplitude envelope. As you can see, I have our level. I can select between ratio and fixed mode for my operators. And a very cool thing that you can do with the FM zone is that you can copy these operator settings and paste them into any operator that you want. And this makes sound design a breeze. So if you have created a very complex envelope, you can copy it and paste it to another operator. It's that simple. Now, if you want to select between different operators, you can do it from the drop down menu right here, or you can actually select them right here on the algorithm display. Now, if you want to select a different algorithm, as you can see, we have a drop down menu here, and you will see that we have the DX7 algorithms, the original DX7 algorithms, but we also have the FMX algorithms. These are the algorithms that you will find in the FMX engine on the Yamaha Montage and the Yamaha Modi X. These are modern synths and all these algorithms are right here. On top of that, we have algorithms from the TX81Z. So you can really go to town and start creating sounds from a huge palette of algorithms right there. So whether you want modern or vintage algorithms, everything is right in there so you can start creating your own sounds. Now, the other great thing that we have here is that we have these controls that basically allow you to change the behavior of all the operators. So you can change the modulator time scale for pretty much all the modulators, and you can also change the carrier time scale. You can also change the level scale of the modulators and you have a global feedback. So when you've created a sound, just by playing with these controls, you can really animate the FM sound that you have created and all these controls are easily modulated. You can just click on them and then just any of the modulators with the new modulation system in Halion 7. So for example, the sound that I played previously, if I tweak the carrier times and the modulator times, you will see that I'm going to get a very, very different response. Very, very easily, and I don't have to go through all the different levels of each one of the operators and the modulators in order to create this kind of effect. Back to original. And if I want a slower time scale, Super simple. The next page is the frequency page. And right here, we can find everything that has to do with the pitch control of our operators. And as you can see, we also have our spectral forms. So we have sine waves, but we also have a plethora of different waves that we can use. So we can have all one from the FMX engine, again, from the Yamaha Montage. We have the all two, we have the odd waveforms, and of course, with full skirt controls and everything. And we also have waves from the TX 81Z, as well as noise, triangle, soul tooth, and so on and so forth. So with the FM zone and all these different waveforms that it offers, you have a huge palette of sounds in order to start sound designing with FM synthesis. The third page is the algorithm page, and this is where you can start designing your algorithms, setting up the levels. You can even create feedback loops very, very easily. Now, let's say I want to modulate my carrier number eight with operator seven. I can do it like this. And I can have positive and negative values. I can also create feedback loops extremely easily. So I can go like this. And I can create a feedback loop or I can have negative values again. And positive values will give me more of a sawtooth wave. And negative values will give me more of a square wave. And 
And I can also create feedback loops by feeding different operators like this. Now, another great sound design feature that you will find in the FM zone is that you can pan the carriers independently. So for example, if I go to my operator six and make it a carrier here, and maybe let's say add some feedback, now I can pan these two carriers left and right. And this way I can get a very wide sound. Check it out. And this means that you don't have to have multiple layers of FM synths in order to create a super wide sound. You can imagine all the possibilities that you have. You can have noise, you can have many different layers in one single synth, and this will already sound stereo. You don't have to add chorus or any other special effects in order to make a sound more three-dimensional. Now, the fourth page is the finder page, and this is where you can start finding your algorithm. So for example, if let's say I want to start sound designing a sound and I want to have three carriers, I can go here and say, okay, I want to have three carriers and maybe three modulators. And as you can see, this will give me quite a few results and these will give me at least three carriers and at least three modulators. But if I want, I can really narrow down my search and say, I actually want the exact number that I just specified here. So I can go for three and for three here and it will narrow down the results and give me a more focused view on what I want in order to start sound designing. Finally, we have the import page and this is where we can start importing SysX files. And the FM zone in Highland 7 is able to import files from the DX7 and the TX81Z. So if you want to load these sounds, you can do this very easily using the import page. On top of that, we have the emulation mode. Mode. And this is where we can choose the mode that we want or envelopes to work with. And then we have three modes. We have the Halion mode, which is extremely precise. We have the FMX mode, which basically takes the characteristics of the FMX engine. And we also have the DX7 mode, if you want to have this kind of classic DX7 response. And it goes without saying that with Halion 7, we can combine different synth engines. So if you use the FM zone, like I have right here, You can also combine it with another engine. And in this case, I also have a synth zone with a virtual analog synthesizer. So let me solo this. So I can play both a virtual analog synth and the FM zone in Halion in one go, in one instance of Halion without any complex routing. So let's play both an FM sound that was created with the FM synth zone in Halion along with the virtual analog synth. So there you go, this is the brand new FM Zone in Halion 7. I hope you have loads of fun with it and happy sound designing. <laughs>